One of the most profound techniques ever developed for chiropractors to use is called injury recall technique. It was discovered in the mid 80s that the talotibial joint, being rich in uh, ligaments, of course, and nerve supply to the cerebellum, can have a dramatic effect on how our brain remembers injury. When this was discovered, um, a renowned chiropractor uh, did research into this and, and, and coined the injury recall technique, which we now use to discover whether a person has had traumas uh, to her body or his body in the past. And I found that uh, an ankle injury, for instance, that, had, that took place you know, 40 years ago is still memorized by the, by the central nervous system. It's still in the memory of the, of the nervous system and that the brain's response to that previous injury still exists as a muscle memory. For instance, if you're struck very hard between the shoulder blades, your reaction might be to go like this. And if you're struck hard enough, the, the sensors uh, in, in, in your, your back connecting to the postural centers of your brain at the cerebellum memorize that response because your motor cortex has to respond to that. And so there's this pathway that's developed or muscle memory that's developed or nervous system hard drive memory stored that seems to ret be retained for the rest of your life. Well, the research by the uh, uh, podiatrist and the chiropractor determined that this could be erased. Now, I've used this technique on, uh, on people for a number of years now, and since I discovered the entanglement properties of these discs, we can now erase, find and erase traumas that took place in the past. So I'm going to demonstrate how we do that. To do it, you only use one disc for diagnosis. It's very common for if a woman has had a mammogram that it's such a trauma that it is memorized by, by the central nervous system. And although Dee has not had a mammogram and she won't come up positive, we just simply ask the patient to place a disc on one breast. Could you do that for me? And just hold it against one breast or just lean it on one breast. And if they've had a mammogram, 99.5% of the time, I find they go completely weak. And you can pretend you're going weak. <laughs> Resist. Okay, they go completely weak every time almost they've had a mammogram. And the correction is made by taking another entangled disc and holding it over the talotibial joint for about one or two seconds, and then the correction is made. And then we move to the next breast and clear that one as well. The other very common injury that takes place are ankle injuries, and ankle injuries almost all store somehow as a muscle memory. And so if she had an ankle injury and she hasn't, then we're taking one disc over the medial ankle and test her, no, nothing there, and over the lateral ankle, and uh, yes, let's say she went weak there, we would just simply hold a disc on her lateral ankle while at the same time placing another disc over the talotibial joint on the same side, and it would remove the muscle memory. Now, if she had a head injury, we'd simply take and that's, let's say she bumped her head really hard against the windscreen of a car in a car accident. Virtually every single time there will be a weakness manifest in the muscle test because of that injury. And they would simply do exactly the same procedure and they will get strong again. One little boy came to me at the age of uh, three. His mother, no, sorry, his mother brought him to me at the age of 11, and he had uh, eye problems uh, in that he couldn't control his eyes, he couldn't follow my finger, he couldn't move side to side, and he'd had many tests and it couldn't be corrected. So he, it started at the age of three when he banged his head really, really hard, and it was at the age of 11 a couple of years ago when I saw him that we found that he still had this manifestation of an inability to control his eye movements. We discovered that the injury took place right here. He went very weak as soon as we put a disc there and we corrected him within one second and he was better 
and his eye muscle movement improved instantly. And uh, I talked to his mother two years later, and he is still well. So the memory of that the body retained in the central nervous system of the trauma was erased because what it was doing was confusing his eye muscles and uh, his central nervous system wasn't able to control his eye muscles because they felt they, 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 they assumed there was a trauma involved and removing the trauma caused normal function of the neurological pathway to his eye muscles.